Hey there world, I'm the Courageous Goldfish, and today I'm doing something that is a little bit different from my usual content. Uh, I've wanted to for a couple of years and so now I'm just finally getting around to it, but today I am going to be talking to you about the ornaments on my Christmas tree. November slash December is usually the time in the year in which my mental health is the worst for some reason. Uh, and so a couple of years ago, I wanted to try and find something that would like boost my mood throughout the holiday season. And I started to collect ornaments. As you can see, I've got a very tiny tree here. I'm actually running out of room on this tree now, um, but my ornament collection is small, small enough that I could do a small video showcasing them for you. So if you would like, grab some tea, settle in, and I will tell you all about my lovely children. On a side note, <laughs> my mug. I actually collect Snoopy holiday mugs, so I have one for like pretty much every season now, but this one is one of my favorite Christmas ones just because it's a really good size. I have a soup mug one that's like a cooler design, but like every time I'm always like making the full thing and I can never drink that much tea. So this one is my favorite. It's just a great, great little mug. One day maybe we'll do a Snoopy mug tour once I run out of ideas. I don't know. Ah, oh, that's good. Healing for the soul. We can get into the Christmas spirit a little bit early. I know everybody's been feeling kind of like, uh, about the holiday season just because of like world events and stuff like that, but spread some holiday joy, some cheer. There's good things in the world. My ornaments are kind of like split into three different distinct categories. So I think the first one would probably be just like randos. They just like, they're just cool. They're aesthetic ornaments. Uh, the second category would be my Disney sketchbook ornaments, which are like the highlights of my collection. Um, unfortunately, Canada has closed all their Disney stores and so I am unable to expand my sketchbook collection this year. Um, but I've got quite a few that I would really love to share with you. And the third category is like travel slash sentimental. They're like ornaments that I've gotten on like trips that I've taken or like things from my childhood, stuff like that, uh, like handmade type ornaments. And I would love to show you those as well. I think it makes the most sense to start off with the randos. Um, and of course, because we are always dedicated to the aesthetic. Our first ornament of the day is this very cute Pusheen holding hot chocolate. How cute is he? I actually got gifted this Pusheen in a secret Santa one year from a dear friend of mine, and so it does have a little bit of sentimental value, but I mean, look at him. Is he not like the cutest you've ever seen? Or Pusheen is a she, isn't she? Next, we have this very cute little like glittery bedazzled dinosaur. Honestly, I just loved like the juxtaposition of this being like a very like dinosaur type of thing, but then it's like glittered in pink. It's like straight up my alley, so. Love that. I believe that this was a Michaels find one or two years ago, so we love him. Another Michaels find. We have glittery bedazzled cotton candy. I'm not sure if you can see the bedazzle. Glittery cotton candy stick. Like I said, these are more like aesthetic value than anything else, so we can blast through them pretty quick, but I just thought that this was really cute. They also sell it in blue if you're a blue queen. These next two were back from when Target still existed in Canada, um, which was a long time ago now, but I have this very cool, like, colorful wire-wrapped star that I think is just the coolest. I've never seen anything like this since then, so very unique, I think. And then, like, this is not unique in the least, I don't think. This, the classic cupcake. Had to. They sell cupcake ornaments every year, but I still love them. <laughs> Again, from Michaels, they do really good ones sometimes. I have this really awesome blue bedazzled jellyfish, and it's really tall, actually. So I kind of like struggle to find places to put it because it's just such a statement piece in this collection, but it's got some very cool like pearl strands and such. Y'all know I love jellyfish, so this was an obvious need. If you're Canadian, you know. This is my Timbit Snowman. Just a classic, you know? Gotta have at least one Timmy's ornament on your tree if you're Canadian. I don't really have much to say about this one. It's just a glittery key. Because I did want to have at least some symmetry with my tree this year, I did buy some like glass baubles. 
but they are aesthetic. So I will show you. They are these really pretty glass, like iridescent pink baubles. And they are just like the prettiest thing I've ever seen. They are gorgeous. So I have eight of these that I usually just kind of like put all around. If you can see like how glittery and gorgeous they are. I love them. It's like the perfect aesthetic for me. It's not like hot pink. It's like the pastels, you know? That's the end of my like random category. So now we can get into my Disney sketchbook ornaments. Uh, these are classic ornaments that Disney releases every year. They always come out with new designs all the time. And so it's kind of like, it was my thing for a while that I would like pick out the ones that I wanted and then I'd wait till like Black Friday when they were on sale and I'd go get the ones that I wanted. Uh, so I have a small little collection here. Uh, I believe I started in 2015. Uh, so I will show them to you chronologically, I suppose. The first Disney ornament I ever bought and the first like statement ornament I ever bought is this beautiful Mulan sketchbook ornament. This one was 2015. I love Mulan and I just thought she was so pretty. I love the pattern of the glitter on her skirt and the fact that she had like Mushu on her arm. She's just so, so pretty. Uh, and all the sketchbook ornaments have these little like tags on the top here, if you can see, uh, that say Disney Store and the year on them. So she was from 2015. Also from 2015, I have this really, really cute Alice in the Drink Me bottle. It's just this very cool like clear plastic that she's in uh, with like the Drink Me tag that's like cardstock. Now there's a break in my collection um, because I, I guess, didn't like any of the ones from 2016, 2017, or 2018. Uh, so we pick back up in 2019 where I have... <laughs> Somehow, I decided it was a good idea to have two Mulans, uh, and I will explain why. It is a common criticism of Mulan that the marketing only ever puts her in like the matchmaker dress, like the pink one, which is like not true to herself at all, you know, like we've done the whole thing with like the reflection, you know, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But they put her in the green dress that she wears, and I was like, a, I love Mulan. B, they never put her in the green dress. And C, she's just pretty and on sale. So this is the 2019 Mulan. I love this Mulan. I think she is my favorite. She is gorgeous. I love the patterning on her skirt. And if you can see, maybe you can see, she's got a very cool hairstyle going on in the back. I don't know. I just think she's so, so beautiful. One of my favorites for sure. I guess Disney popped off in 2019 because I was like in love with so many of the ones from that year. Uh, I only ended up with three, uh, but my second one is this adorable Baymax. Look at him. How sweet is he? He's just like wrapped in some string lights and his little bobble like wobbles and he's wearing a little Santa hat. Oh, he's so cute. I know I keep saying it every time I show one, but like, He's one of my favorites too. He's so cool. This one is kind of like the ugly stepsister of my Disney ornaments. Uh, I only bought it because they never make merch for this movie and it's my favorite Disney movie. But to be honest, the ornament is a little bit bleh. <laughs> so this is the 2019 Bolt ornament. Bolt is my favorite Disney movie, hands down. Was obsessed with it as a child, could probably recite it from memory but they never ever make merch of it. Probably, I guess, because it wasn't popular, but this is like the one ornament we've ever gotten aside from like the Hallmark one when the movie first came out. You can see it's not like the greatest craftsmanship ever. Like his facial expression is like a little sus. Mittens is looking a little bit scary and I don't know what is going on with Rhino. There is no good way to show you this man. He just, He's, he's, yeah, there we go. He's scary at best. Um, but I had to have it because, you know, favorite Disney movie, sentimental value, you know. So he's the ugly stepsister of my Disney collection, but we still love him dearly. Moving into 2020, I only picked up two ornaments for this year. The first one of which being this absolutely amazing Cinderella storybook ornament. Cinderella was my favorite as a child. 
but this ornament is beautiful. You can just see her on the chair with the glass slipper on the cushion, pillow, and the storybook behind her. The attention to detail on this one is impeccable. Like you can see all of the little details that make it look so nice. And they even paid attention to the back with like the painting and the embossing of the Cinderella storybook. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one's really hard to hang because it's quite large, but definitely a standout in the collection. This last one from my 2020 collection is actually like logistically my favorite one. Um, this is from my second favorite Disney movie, second only to Bolt, and it is just an amazing ornament. They made one of these two characters in 2015, which I sadly missed out on, uh, so I knew I absolutely had to have this one. And it is the Wally -E and Eve. Are they not the cutest? Are they not the cutest things you've ever seen? Come on now. They are like wrapped in some twinkle lights and Wally's wearing a Santa hat and carrying a Christmas tree in the boot. And the Christmas tree is glittery. Like, come on, how cute. And the execution is amazing. Like the sculpt on Wally is like impeccable. You can see kind of like his tire tracks here. I'm speaking about this like a figure review, <laughs> but they are just beautiful. So, so, so cute. I absolutely adore this. The other one from 2015 was not necessarily Christmas themed. It was the two of them, uh, like Wally had his fire extinguisher and they were like flying, you know, that scene from the movie, um, which would be a cool one to have as well. But I am grateful that I was able to pick up this one. An absolute like chef's kiss. Mwah. That's my chef's kiss for the video take a little tea break. I've been distracted, so now it's getting like lukewarm. Now we can move on to the last and probably biggest category, which is like my sentimental like souvenir ornaments. Um, these are mostly either from my childhood, from my travels, or like handmade. So I'm really, really, really excited to show you these ones. I'm gonna start off with the obvious one. I have a little girl. She is kind of like Kokeshi doll-esque, but I don't think she would actually qualify as such. I think Kokeshis have to be wooden, possibly. I'm not the premier expert on that, but I love this ornament anyway. I love her to pieces. She's so cute. I especially love her little back bow there. Adorable. I think it's pretty obvious where I got that one from. Um, I never shut up about my homestay, so, you know, it's probably my dearest memories, honestly. So that one's really important to me. This one is another bauble, uh, and it is this really cool, like glittery branch type of thing. And this is actually like metal. Like it's full on steel, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but very large and in charge. Uh, this next one is also obvious. I don't think I need to say more. Um, we were in Paris for two days and then we moved on to Nice and I, funnily enough, actually found this in Nice. So I was like, it's not actually from Paris, but it's from France. So I think that counts. I gotta get some going on like the other side here. I'm like focusing on this half. Oh, I guess I do have another Disney ornament. This is from my first trip to Disneyland when I was like, seven possibly but it is the ornament version of the ear hat that i bought while i was there so i have this like full-sized ear hat but i guess i liked it enough that i wanted an ornament of it for some reason um this one's a little bit weird because the veil is supposed to be like here you know right but the thing to hang it is in the bottom so i'm like do i hang it upside down like that or what so i usually end up just like placing it on a branch so yeah i don't know like what the logistic purpose of that is uh I, it's very old i'm not even gonna bother to do the math of how long ago this was i 
Maybe editing me will put it in there, but it was a while ago that I bought this. This one I am so, so excited about. It's my only new one for the year, uh, and it was handmade by my wonderful friend who is a glass artist. So I have this gorgeous glass etched ornament. Maybe I could find, I'll put some paper behind it so you can see it better. Possibly, maybe. But this is hand etched by her. Let it snow. Hopefully you can see how gorgeous it is, but I am super, super excited to have this one. It's very unique and like personal to me. So I'm so excited to have it. For contrast, this is one that I handmade. This is my cinema roll one. I literally just like printed off some cinema roll images and like glued them to a wooden heart and put scotch tape over it. So not as artistically talented, but had to do it for the aesthetic, you know? Little like tangent side story that is relevant. Uh, my family has a very themed Christmas tree. My mom has been collecting precious moments for years. Like it's an obsession of her. She has like a ton of ornaments. She gets like the new holiday ornament every year. Um, she has like a ton of figurines, uh, like, She's been collecting them since like 1997 or something like that. So we have a huge collection of Precious Moments stuff. Um, and I actually have two that were gifted to me at various points in my life. So this one is like a porcelain baby slipper. There used to be one other one, but I guess it didn't survive. So I've got this really cute like little baby shoe type thing. Ruby. July's child. Yes, I am a Leo. No, I will not be taking questions on that. And this one, I believe I was eight or nine, maybe, and it's this really cute little ballerina girl. She's so sweet. Even if I don't appreciate the aesthetic of the Precious Moments as much, I know that I'm going to love to have these, especially when I'm growing older and I move out, you know? I'm gonna love having that because it will remind me of my childhood. <laughs> I guess I should show you my other handmade ones. Uh, this is a pine cone I painted. I guess I thought it looked cool and I wanted to paint it. This is from my grandparents' uh, residence in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, they snowbird, I guess, so. I just found this pine cone on the ground and I was like, I wanna have a pine cone from Arizona on my Christmas tree. So there we go, <laughs> I guess. And then this one, I got a clear bauble from Michael's, which you know is the start of something great. We all love those clear plastic baubles. You can do literally anything with them. And I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea, but I filled it with mini marshmallows. Just cause I was like, you know, like the candy aesthetic and like the kawaii-ness, you know? They are like stale. Like you shake them around and they, it's like a maraca. Like they're hard now, but I still think it looks pretty cool. Home stretch mates, home stretch. We got three left. I, this one's not gonna make any sense unless I tell the story, I guess. So uh, I guess I'll show it first. This is a little 3D metal train. This has been like, bent and scraped and thrown around for years now. Uh, I think I've bent it back into shape every single year I take it out of the box, so. He's seen better days, to be honest, but I still think it's pretty cool. Um, I was a part of Girl Guides for like 13, 14 years of my life. Uh, and every once in a while, like every three, four years or so, uh, the Girl Guide Association does what they call Guiding Mosaic which is basically, it's almost like a scout jamboree if you were into scouts, but like not exactly. It's a big giant nine day outdoor tent camp, uh, which I actually got to go to. While I was there, uh, I got to do one day excursion where I left the camp. Uh, and that was when me and my group, we went on the railroad, which was self-explanatory now. So that, has a lot of like personal meaning to me because I was a very like shy and sheltered kid um, and I didn't really make friends super duper easily. And so Guiding Mosaic was the first time I actually like kind of put myself out there. I made new friends. I was like being really like sociable. I really bonded with my group for the first time ever. And that 
Like, I credit that, I think, with like starting to peck away at the shell that I was in. And so, you know, it's a fun little sob story, I guess. This one is probably one of the coolest ones in my collection. Uh, this used to be on our family tree, and then I loved it so much that my mom gave it to me for mine. Um, I have no idea how old it is or where she even got it from, but it is this really cute measuring cup that has a mouse family inside. Look at how cute. There's like a baby mouse and like a mommy mouse with like a tray of cookies. It's adorable, and you can see, I guess, on the side, maybe that there's some like markings there to show that it's a measuring cup absolutely adorable and the best thing about this one is that there is a hole in the side which you can put one of like the lights into and so the back lights up is that like it's a cute little cozy mouse home i love it i'm gonna have to try and the thing with this one is that you have to find like a light to stick it in first and then a branch to hang it on which makes it really hard to find a good spot for it and the last ornament the piece de resistance is my tree topper um obviously as you can see this is a pretty tiny tree uh, and you normally don't put tree toppers on these kinds of trees, uh, but this is like, this is too big to put on the tree. And so I just put it on top instead. You know, I didn't buy it with the express intention of using it that way. I just bought it as a souvenir and was like, I'll figure out something to do with it. Uh, and it is this really cool like crown that I got at Buckingham Palace in London. So this is actually like a souvenir from the palace. We just so happened to go during the time where it was like open to the public to go and like see the inside. Um, and I know that that's like kind of, yeah, British, you know, but I thought it was really cool to see. And I really like crown iconography. And so I was like, I want the crown. Seems like a good souvenir. Um, and this is actually like squishy. So it's like a velvety material in here. They say the box that it came in said that there's a replica of this that's on the royal family Christmas tree every year, which I A, highly doubt is true, and B, this is like cheapy plastic and rhinestones. I guarantee you if the royal family has one of these, it's like solid gold with like precious gems. But it was a cool idea in theory. And I don't really have anything else to use this tree topper, so this is what I use. Try and move you. So perhaps you will be able to see me do this. But I just kinda... Ta-da! <laughs> this is my Christmas tree. Welcome. <laughs> We're having a good time. We're having a great time. It's a good time. Obviously, you know, when I move out, I'm going to hopefully invest in a bigger tree and more ornaments to fill that tree. Um, but for now, this is my, my collection. And I'm really, really, really... I have... I have a lot of feelings about my tree. It's kind of... it's... it brings me joy in what is usually a hard time for me. And so I thought maybe it would be nice to share that with you. I don't know why I'm getting like sappy about this right at the end, but thanks for coming on the journey with me, I guess. The holidays are a hard time for a lot of people, um, whether you can't go to see your family or you're mourning the loss of loved ones this season, or if you're just not close to your family, or even if you don't celebrate Christmas, um, life events, world events have got you down, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard time for some people. And I would encourage if you are feeling that way, try to, try to participate in a festive activity or something like that, that brings you joy as like a self care ritual. I, it seems hard, but it's the little things in life that can bring us joy and can give us that little like push to be like, 
it's okay. There are good things in the world. Even if it's just buying yourself some Christmas chocolate, do something that brings you joy. But yeah, thanks for coming on this little festive holiday journey with me. Uh, leave me a comment down below which one of my ornaments is your favorite. I definitely cannot pick a favorite. If you like me, hey, hi, hello, there is a subscribe button down below. This channel focuses mainly on like cosplay and like nerd stuff. Uh, so if you are into that, would heavily recommend dropping a subscribe. But again, as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you on the flip side.